In news from Colombia, Human Rights Watch has released a report on killings by right-wing paramilitary successor groups in the largely Afro-Colombian port city of Buenaventura. The groups reportedly use so-called chop-up houses to slaughter victims, sometimes dismembering them while they're still alive, then dumping them in the ocean. Scores and potentially hundreds of residents have been abducted and disappeared. Last year, more than 19,000 people fled Buenaventura, more than in any other municipality in Colombia, a country where the second largest population of internally displaced people in the world. Human Rights Watch's Daniel Wilkinson described the group's origins. There are basically two groups who are operating in these neighborhoods. There, one is called uh, the Urabeños, the other is called the Empresa. And these are groups that basically descended from right-wing paramilitary death squads that existed throughout the country. Those paramilitaries demobilized in a government program 10 years ago. But these groups today operate in a very similar fashion. In other news from Colombia, President Juan Manuel Santos has removed the mayor of the capital, Bogota, Gustavo Petro, a former guerrilla leader who played a key role in uncovering ties between politicians and right-wing paramilitaries. The In 2006, while he was a senator, Petro's removal as mayor was originally ordered in December by Colombia's inspector general in what his supporters called a right-wing coup.